Hi, my name is Martin Bogomolny, and today I'm going to teach you proper technique for cleaning the laser cutter's lens. We have a universal laser cutter. It's a model PLS 6.60 professional series. So when the laser is in this position, you want to come over here and then touch the focus button. The laser will move to the center, currently lit up, just so you can see where it goes. It's about one inch in and in the center of the bed. The next step is to check to see if the laser cutter is dirty. For this purpose, we have a piece of mirrored acrylic that we use to check the laser. Place it underneath the head, like this, and then take a look at the laser head. Now in this case, you can see that the lens is clear, and you can clearly see the red dot through it. Now this is a clean lens, but we're going to, for the purposes of demonstration, clean it again. What you want to do next is remove the three screws. They're only hand tight, and make sure you don't drop them through the vector cutting table bed. I like to put them aside over here for safekeeping. Next, gently remove the front plate. If it's tight, don't pull hard. Wiggle and gently remove it. The optics are, are very, very delicate, and you don't want to bend or break them. Sometimes, after the laser's operated for some time, there's a lot of gunk and grit that gets into the laser carriage. So be gentle, remove it, and you'll end up with this. Okay, this next step is for people who have taken the laser cleaning class already in person. However, everything here is demonstrated just in case. Place the laser cutting head on a nice clean surface. You're going to need the following things in order to clean it. First, you're going to need some Johnson & Johnson Q-tip swabs. Now, of course, they can be any brand. The important thing is that they're very soft Q-tip heads made of cotton. Do not use anything else to clean the laser. Not your fingers, not anything else, just the Q-tips. The second thing you're going to need is this. We have some industrial optical cleaner. Now, if you don't have any industrial optical cleaner, we do have a second backup cleaner that can be used. The preferable cleaner is this pink industrial optical cleaner. In a pinch, you can use something like this, the Vizio Screen Cleaning Kit. Basically, these contain a small amount of detergent and a surfactant to take uh, resins and oils off of the lens. Uh, oils on the lens, just like in a high-powered halogen lamp, can actually crack the lens. Be careful not to touch the lens when cleaning the lens. So, here is the lens. You can see it's fairly clear no scratches, no discoloration, and you can see the mirror. It's also got very, very few scratches and almost no discoloration. Anything that doesn't look like this means that the lens is dirty. The lens has two sides. This, oh, pardon me, this is the flat side of the coplanar lens right there, and this is the curved side underneath. There we go. Now in order to clean the lens, you want to do the following. Place the lens securely on a surface, on a work surface like this. You might want to lean it against something, or you can hold it in your hand. For the next step, we need to flood the top of the lens with the cleaning solution. So what you want to do is take the cleaning solution, right here, and you want to put one or two drops onto the lens. One, two. There we go. So you can see that we flooded the lens with cleaning solution. And for the next step, we are going to clean the lens. Now, to clean the lens, don't scrub, don't rub. What you want to do is roll the Q-tip as follows. Watch. You just roll the Q-tip gently across the lens like that. And then roll with another clean Q-tip. Continue rolling until there is no more material on the lens. Use as many Q-tips as you need to. Don't skimp, but don't rub against the surface. 
All you want to do is gently roll. Once you've rolled, you can see that we've picked up most of the dirt that was on top of the lens. For the next step, with no pressure, just gently swab over the surface. This is just to pick up any loose, last loose bits of lint. Do not apply any pressure at all. Just gently swab, always turning your Q-tip slightly so you're presenting a new surface. Let's see how clean that is there. The surface of the lens is now dry. For the next step, there we go, lean the mirror over, go ahead and apply two or three drops of cleaning agent onto the bounce mirror. Now the bounce mirror is different than the lens. The lens is coated, but the bounce mirror is not. It's plated. So this is a, a piece of, uh, of glass that has been plated with gold. So it's very, very delicate. Proceed to do the same arrangement as you did the last time. So first, gently roll the Q-tip down the surface to pick up, there we go, see, rolling the Q-tip down the surface of the lens, like this. Apply almost no pressure. This will pick up anything that the solvent can dissolve. And for the next step, like you did with the other lens, applying no pressure gently swab in just one direction turning as you go along to pick up dust particles and anything that might have been left behind on the lens. As you can see the lens is now absolutely mirror clear with no scratches. See? For the next step we're going to examine the mirror holder for any damage. Look at all the surfaces make sure that there are no damage, no cracks, no miscellaneous bits of tar or grit on the lens or around it. And if this is now a clean plate, you've completed the cleaning cycle. Put this aside. Now we need to pay attention. Remember to close the cap on the cleaning solution. It does have some alcohol in it which can evaporate. There we go. Take some of the Q-tips with you and proceed over to the machine. Remember to bring the simple green. Okay, here we are back at the machine. For this next step, we're going to clean this part of the head. Notice that the head itself has no optics inside. It's just a, oops, it's just empty. I'm gonna turn on a light here for you. There, see? But it does get dirty. What you wanna do in order to clean this is you want to remove that type of dust particles and dirt that are inside. So. Don't spray directly in the machine, but rather take your Q-tip as such, there you go, or a bunch of Q-tips if you like. Here, there we go. And give them a good spraying. I'm going to spray it off camera. I don't want to get my camera wet. There we go. All right. So the Q-tips are now wet on the ends. Lay them aside and begin wiping the inside of the mechanism with the wet Q-tip. You'll see it gets dirty and that's good because you want to get all this dust and grit out of the head. It makes it easier to insert and remove the other piece. And again, use as many Q-tips as you like. I mean, this is dirty work and we want to get this thing as clean as we can. Go ahead and get into the crevices. There we go. Clean out all the parts. And then, with your last wet Q-tip, give it a rinse. Just to kind of go through vertical surface there, any horizontal surface there, down the tracks. Give it a good wipe. And there we go. Now we have a clean carriage. When you're done, go to the dry side. And just like before, we want to get rid of any lint or anything that's been left in there, so use a dry side and get it out. There we go. Again, use as many as you have to, and then when you're done, throw them away. When you're done, remember to press the back button 
so that the laser head returns back to its ready state. The laser cutter should then look like this, and it's ready to cut a new file. Hopefully this has been instructive. This concludes our laser lens cleaning lesson. Alright, have fun hacking. Bye everyone.